Next thing that I was Peter Pan, and I was dressed like a gladiator. So I'm standing there, and Hook is coming over to, I don't know, kill me? And then my sister turned into like this bobcat, like cougar, tiger thing. And I keep trying to think of these happy thoughts, and none of them are coming. I had to fight her off with my sword. I never normally dream. I dream that a lot of things would change. Martin Luther King Jr. Um, when I think about him, I think of political change and reform um, marching in the right direction. I think a lot of people think, oh, we, we've dealt with the 60s, we've dealt with the 70s, and we're not prejudiced anymore. There was a time when I was in preschool where a kid wouldn't play with me because I was the wrong color. Also, I dealt with minor you know, racism, like, hey, I'm black and I'm in a gang and you're a white guy, therefore I gotta beat up on you kind of stuff. His friend turned to me at the dinner table and asked me, how many goats, cows, or pigs does it take to be considered wealthy in Mexico? Where you come from? Um, a lot of times in sports and different things, especially basketball or track especially, um, the white chicks are slower than everybody else, and we're, I would say, we're um, looked down upon almost as lesser. A lot of racial mistrust. She came back and told me that she wasn't going to be allowed to go to church with me because her parents thought there would be too many black people at my church. And at the time, I was going to a church where my family was the only family that was black at the church. It was really a fear-filled situation because I had always had the representation of they didn't want you to know them. So learning to be able to come and ask my friends things about their hair and things about their clothing and things about the way that their family worked, it made it, it was just full of fear because I didn't know how they would react at the questions. Until you get to know people on an individual basis, I think you have that because you don't know what to anticipate from you know, other people. It's a natural human fear and therefore natural human hatred of someone who's different than them. In some cases I have feared um, like confronting people who are different than me. People tend to fear what they don't know. Talk to people who are different than you. Once we start seeing people the way that God sees them. And get to know them. Only then can we be on the same accord and just be free to love. And the more you know them, you'll see that on the outside they may be different, but they're still people and they still have feelings and everything. to put aside the prejudging, oh, she's gonna be this way because she was brought up this way, or he's gonna end up in jail by the time he's 21. And they need a friend just like you do. I'd like to see people to go beyond the prejudging of their mind and to judge according to the potential or the greatness inside every human being's heart. I think people of this generation do have dreams. Get out in the world and do something great. And come back to my neighborhood a success. To have a school where God is truly invited. Be an architect and build houses. Help the Chinese people to have the freedom to worship God in school. To see abortion abolished. Teach English for free. FBI agent. A teacher, a preacher, and a mommy. Go to Africa and just be with people there. To have a Christian school in, back home in Myanmar. I want to be a preacher. Paint walls. Bringing godly principles back to life. To have a healing ministry because that's what God has spoken into my life. Influence or encourage someone. To become a world-renowned writer. To pay off my student loans before I die. And build buildings and houses. Film production. Be a football player. Not having anything that I regret. 